Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here with a very random movie hunting video. I've just found out that the uh, thrift stores have started opening up, and uh, the one, I'm basically in the area that I'm in, uh, the one thrift store that I go to a lot, uh, you know, is one of the ones that's opened. I don't know if all of them are or not, but I know this one is. So this is going to be the first time I'm going to have been in a thrift store, you know, looking for DVDs or Blu-rays or anything like that, in, you know, over just about I think like three months now or just about just about three months so fingers crossed hopefully I can find something interesting in there the thing is though since the place has been closed I don't know if they have anything new or if they've gotten in anything new or they're taking things in or anything like that right now so I don't know like I said hopefully I'll find something I have found a couple things here in the past the other thrift store that I go to it's a little further out though I might try and go to that one again soon as well I don't know like I said I don't know if that one's open I don't know if they all are but I know this one recently opened up but like I said we'll see what they have in there so let this random you know probably not a super long video though but um you know movie hunting video at the thrift store begin into the quality resale store we go and yeah, they have a thing on here that's like only 10 people are allowed in the store at a time and all that kind of stuff but let's see and they definitely opened the place up in here more it's like um you can see there's like They've like opened up the aisles and everything in here. But we'll take a look in here and see what there is. There's definitely like up here used to be movies on this shelf. Now there's like these um kind of like beer kind of like advertisements for bars and stuff like that. Down here is where they usually would have a lot of TV stuff. I found some interesting TV things here in the past. You know, like out of print things and everything. What is this thing down here? This like um drama? Abbott and Costello, Jack Benny, these are like hours of audio entertainment. What is it? Everyone's just saying, I'm always dropping these glasses. I have to like put them on my hat and then like I don't drop them. These are really interesting. These are like thriller, NBC short stories, NBC University Theater, but they're like kind of cool. When are these things from? 1990. Yeah, they're, that's a really interesting looking thing. There's like all these different ones, drama. And then, look at this thing here, Golden Age of Radio. Like, that's interesting too. It's like $5, they're kind of cool looking, weird like old cassette things. But I like the way they look and everything. But like I said, just gonna go through here and I'm pretty much gonna do this all in one take so that I can just wash my hands and I don't touch my phone or anything. So I just can go right to the car and, you know, sanitize them and everything. But we'll see if there's anything in here interesting. I don't see a lot of Blu-rays. I saw a little bit over here. I'm trying to see if there's anything. Here's one mixed in Blu-ray up here. Ghost Protocol, you know, Mission Impossible, 12 Monkeys, which is one of those movies if you guys have never watched this. I feel like most people have, but I really like this movie a lot. Let's see. Uh, the show must go on. Five, uh, you know, Aces. Like I said, the one uh, thrift store that I go to, the Valley Thrift Store, that's like my favorite one. I'm definitely going go to go to that one soon, maybe on Tuesday and see if it's open. Because I think I should probably be in that area. Uh, let's see if there's anything that interesting. Like I said, I know I'm touching this stuff, but I'm going to clean my hands right afterwards. So I'm not worried. I'm not going to touch the phone. You know, I'm just going to do this all in one take and everything. So let's see. Purpose, Lethal Weapon 4. This is actually, uh, you know, people ask like about like the first ever DVD or anything that I got. Uh, Lethal Weapon 4 was actually the first ever DVD that I bought. Well, I think uh, actually the first one I got was Pecker before I had a player, but when I actually had the player. Uh, the first one I got was Lethal Weapon 4 and um, Willy Wonka. I remember with this one too, it was real exciting because it had all these special features on here like documentary, commentaries, and it was the first time I had ever seen anything like that. You know, all the special features and everything. So I remember how like excited I was with that. And that was kind of like this movie on DVD it was what kind of got me hooked on buying DVDs like the, for the features and stuff. Nowadays, I don't worry about the features as much, but back then, like when you know special features were new, I was like obsessed. And that was kind of like what made me start getting them. There's some like um, computer game, Wagon's East. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. This is an interesting one. Mr. Bungle, Melt Mania. That's kind of weird. Is this a, a bootleg? Like that you would get like at a convention? Yeah, there's a bootleg. But if it was real, that'd be kind of cool. Maybe it was, no, because if it was real, it would definitely not look like that. But that's kind of, if that was a real one, that would definitely be kind of cool. Let's 
see if there's anything else. That, that I definitely have not seen, but too bad it was a bootleg of it. Or a DVDR or something of it. Learning Curve. Over here, American Pie. I always hate that there's one movie in here that I miss buying like a while back called Gargoyles. And I'm like, I always like totally missed it. This is a, a great movie. Auto, auto Focus. That, that one's on Blu-ray from Twilight Time. Boot Camp. Bicentennial Man. This to me though is like the ultimate like depressing movie. I can't rewatch this movie. Like out of anything, I, I feel like I cry to this movie more than any other movie I've ever seen in my life. Because it's like, because it goes through the time of the, Robin Williams' character is playing this robot. And, you know, robots like live forever. So he's like, he's like seeing all these people die throughout the movie. So it's like continuous deaths in this movie. So it's such a sad movie. I think that's definitely one of the top saddest movies ever. Scarface here. Some double feature thing. Ricardo Montalban movie. Black Water and Final Justice. I've never seen these ones. That's definitely a kind of an interesting one. I'll have to look that up, but I've never seen that one. Let's see. I think Cat Hamilton. Oh, Cat and Fever here. I've seen, I showed this one before. This one has the lenticular cover on the, um, the DVD. Goodnight Moon here. X-Men 1.5. Let's see. Second Nature. Trying to see this if anything stands out as looking different. You never know though, because it's kind of like they just sort of mix everything in. There's not really a, a section here where it's like all new stuff or anything. And Hawk. What is this thing here? This is like media contacts. Some weird like computer thing. Yeah, definitely not looking like anything that different in here. Spin City here. I think it's like the volume set of that. Some Shield seasons down there. That's some of the few TV things I've seen. Weekend at Bernie's. Tron. Office Space. Yeah, just sort of kind of real comedy stuff. Underworld. Jennifer. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Dexter, Santa Claus. And it, one thing that's funny about this movie, I talked about this in the past too, was when this was released on VHS, it had this one line in it that was cut out of all the other versions. When Tim Allen's character is like giving this phone number and he says like, 1-800-SPANK-ME or something. Does anybody remember that? It was only on, you know, you only heard that line when it was on, um, in the theaters and on, um, you know, on VHS. But I, I, from what I remember, it was cut out of everything else. See anything? Nothing else new over here. A higher video version of um, the Ring Two here. So here's some of the Blu-rays here. Iron Lady, uh, Lilo, and oh, that's a DVD of Lilo and Stitch. Uh, let's see anything else? Yeah, it's definitely not much else in here. This is not a bad set here. This Karloff collection here. It's all kind of messed up on the side though. And Pitch Black, if you guys had not heard, it's pretty cool. The um, Arrow video is going to be releasing this one on 4K, so that's really cool. I think that that and um, Flash Gordon are going to be the first 4Ks that they have, you know, will be releasing. Milo and Otis here, another Blu-ray of Hangover 2, Notting Hill, Final Cut. That's a decent um, Robin Williams movie that you don't hear about too often. Terminal, Happy Hour. Yeah, a lot of these stuff I've seen in here in the past, they don't change it out that much in here it's just it kind of depends and like i said they kind of just sort of mix something in from what i've noticed when they get anything different some more blu-rays billy elliott over here river world doomsday it's complicated hot tub time machine robin hood that's the, the newer russell crow one crank and crank 2 I don't know what the prices are on the Blu-rays in here. I can't remember. I don't think I own Crank 2, but I'm, I, I keep on waiting because I feel like, um, because they put the first movie on 4K. I feel like at some point there's going to be a 4K of that one. The Campaign, Friends with Benefits, Stand Up Guys, Mr. Brooks, The Way of the Gun, the DVD one, Paparazzi, Hancock. Yeah, nothing really that exciting. Beverly Hills Ninja down there. Class action. 
riding in vans with boys, that's like a music one, concert thing. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the complete uh, first season. I can't remember what this was. The, the price was off of this one. I keep on wondering if this one's ever going to come to Blu-ray. I don't, I don't believe it has any of those, at least in the U.S. Jackass number two. Yeah, nothing really standing out. This is, I don't think I showed this one. This is another Karloff one, but this one's all messed up as well. I don't think that was the, the same one, I don't think. Unless I'm showing that same messed up one again. Spider's Web, Signs. Yeah, nothing really else that different. Was glad to come back in here, though. What is this one here? This Oh, that's a book. That's a rat. Yeah, like I said, nothing really that different, but glad to come back in here, though. And come back into a thrift store again. Like I said, it's been pretty much about three months now. Ernest goes to camp. But yeah, like everything I've seen either I have or it's real super common stuff. This is a cool set though that has uh, the Fun House, Phantasm 2, Serpent and the Rainbow. And all these ones are on Blu-ray though. But all, they're definitely though a great set. But all these things in here though are $2.99 or 4 for $9.99. But like I said, definitely glad to come back you know, into a thrift store again. But definitely nothing that amazing in here these things are kind of cool though these weird uh music things here though were definitely interesting though Anyway, though, guys, that was all for my super, super random uh, thrift store uh, DVD and Blu-ray hunting video. Like I said, it was just kind of cool to go back to a thrift store again. Uh, and I'm, like I said, I'm definitely going to check uh, the other one that I go to, the Valley Thrift Store. That's like my favorite one. But that one, though, I don't know. That one's always so busy. So I don't know how they're handled, you know, you know, the social distancing and, you know, not having too many people in the store and stuff like that. It might have like a real crazy long line and stuff like that. But I wasn't expecting to really see too much in there right now because, like, I was saying if they just open back up they probably haven't gotten in a whole lot of new stuff recently so it's probably a lot of the same things there was a couple things that might have been new but like nothing like I said it was for the most part super common stuff I've seen a lot and everything but anyway though guys like I always say if you guys enjoyed these videos uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later bye